Hello guys, this is Mr. Valencia. We're doing distance learning tech tools for math teachers. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at an online textbook called Math Open Reference. If you're not familiar with them, I'm providing you with the link to their site is uh, mathopenref.com. So when you go on their website, this is what you're gonna get. Let me show you what it actually looks like. All right, so once you go on the website, you have options for algebra, geometry, construction, solid geometry, trig, and calc. So I wanted to show you what this looks like to give you an idea of how you can use it with your students. So let's say that you were exploring quadratic equations. Let's say that you were looking at the standard form of a quadratic equation. So first thing that I want you to notice is that you have some information, some like definitions, uh, information about the roots, the axis of symmetry. And then you have this very cool applet that allows you to play with the coefficients and to see like what effect it has on the graph. So you can move around the sliders and see what it does. So right now we're looking at standard form, but we can also look at vertex form. And again, it's gonna have information about the roots, the axis of symmetry, and you have, once again, the sliders that allow you to see like what's happening with the graph. So this could be very helpful uh, and very cool for students to play with. All right, so another option that I wanted to show you uh, I have actually used this website a lot for constructions in geometry. So if you're doing geometric constructions, first I want you to notice that you have a lot of options in here. Um, I wanted to show you one. So let's say that you were doing uh, like a classic construction. Let's say that you were doing the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. So here you could find step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, you could also have the geometric proof. And you have this very cool applet that students, where students can see um, how to bisect a line segment. All right, so it's going to tell them step by step what to do. And I feel that during the time of uh, distance learning, this could be particularly beneficial, uh, either to like supplement your instruction or maybe students that need extra support can use this website. And it's just like that. So they have the applet, they have step-by-step -step instructions, and they also have the geometric proof. And once again, notice that there's a lot of options for geometric constructions. All right, let me show you another one. So let's say that you were studying maybe like in algebra two, you're doing conic sections. So let me show you the ellipse. So here again, you have some information and I really like how you could play with this and see how that circle turns into an ellipse. Uh, and of course you have some information and uh, the applet. Um, another one that I wanted to show you was uh, something with trig functions. So, whoops. Okay, so let's say that you were exploring trigonometric functions and uh, let's take a look at the graph of the sine function. So in here, you're gonna have, again, some information about like the domain of the sine function, the range. Um, and then on this applet, I want you to notice that on the upper right, you have the ratio as like opposite over hypotenuse. You have the right triangle on the left, and then you have the graph on the right side. So take a look at what happens in here. As you move the triangle, right, the ratio changes, and then it shows you where it is on the graph. So I thought that was very cool. And you don't have to stop at 360. You could actually keep going. The graph will keep going. So this is very cool. Um, and I feel like students will have a good time playing with this. Um, all right, the other one that I wanted to show you is within Calc. You have a lot of options for Calc, as you can see. Uh, I wanted to show you something with um, application. So let's say you were doing optimization problem. It's a classic problem in calculus uh, where you maximize in the volume. It has again like the, the typical problem and then how you can break it down. Um, all right, so let me go back to the presentation. 
All right, so what do I like about the site? I like that it's very interactive. I like that it allows students to like play and discover. Um, I think that uh, providing students with step-by-step -step instructions and like a video where they could do repetition can be very helpful during distance learning. I also like that um, it can explain concepts uh, visually, which is very nice for students. Um, I also like the multiple representations, like in here you have, you had the right triangle in here, you had the ratio and you had the graph. So this could be very helpful. And we only look at sine, it also has it for like cosine and tangent. Um, and same thing for the optimization problem. So I definitely think this could be a helpful tool for any math teacher during distance learning. Um, I hope that you enjoy the video. I think that is it for now and thank you for watching.